And welcome to another edition of Tuesday Wig Find of the Week. Today's wig is Chase Whisper Light Monofilament Wig by Paula Young. Hey everyone, I'm Angela and I am someone with gray hair and on this channel I review silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair or other beauty related topics. That's straight ahead on Silver Linings. I was searching over the weekend, like I always do, for the Tuesday Wig Find of the Week, and I came across this little gem. Actually, this wig color was shared with me by one of our subscribers, and I had never heard of it before, but this color is called 5660A. You can see that right there, 5660A, and Chase Whisper Light is on sale for $49.99 to $59.99. I'm not sure why there's a $10 spread there. Let's just take a look at the specifications. So she does have that monofilament top. I'm really liking the color description because 5660A, I don't really know what the A stands for. I have no clue. Maybe it's ash. I don't know, but she doesn't look like she's rooted, but that's a nice color combination, 56 and 60. It's going to have a lot, it should have a lot of white in it. I did head over to YouTube to see if there were any reviews of the Chase Whisper Light Monofilament wig. There was nothing in the Silver Gray White family, but I did see here um, Wig Central, Wig Review Central has reviewed um Chase in the light auburn. So let's take a quick peek over there and at least we can get an idea of how she looks on, on uh, in real time. And then we'll also take a quick look at Chase in the shade 10. And again, we don't have our color, but um, our color meaning silver, gray, white, but we can get an idea in real time. So, okay, so let's take a quick peek here over at uh, Wig Review Central, and she has Chase in Light Auburn. Let's see what she says about her. Hey guys and girls, I'm excited to bring you Chase by Paula Young. Chase is a fringeless bob style. Love a bob. Can't go wrong with a bob. With a 100% hand-tied left monofilament part. Okay, so we're going to be able to see right, thra right straight through to the scalp where that monofilament part is. And I will scrub through and we'll take a quick look at the cap. Chase also has a small lace front that is 100% hand tied. That's nice. Very nice. For the price, very nice. Lace front, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. The subtly graduated collar leg sides have texturized razor finished ends. This wig features lightweight baby fine Canacolon Whisper Light regular synthetic fiber. Okay, so it has Canacolon fiber, so that means it's going to be very silky, not too dense, probably very believable. I'm excited about this wig. Chase is a lovely alternative and very affordable alternative yes. to a Moore's Erica wig or Henry Margu's chic wig. This wig retails $79 to $84.99 depending on what color you choose. Let's see when this was reviewed. Okay, about a year ago. Well, let's take a closer look at this gorgeous, affordable style. Yep, same wig. You can see it right there. It's just that the color is different. Let me scrub through and see if... Oh, she's showing the cap. Let's look at the cap. Chase's wig cap features this short, 100% hand-tied lace front. Nice. You have a deep left-hand side 100% hand-tied monofilament part. Underneath, 
This fabric mesh is a modern amount of permatease, which gives the style volume. On either side of the cap, you have these velour covered adjustable ear tabs. The sides and the back are open wefted to allow air circulation and scalp coolness. On either side of the velour sleek nape are Velcro adjustable straps, which and I appreciate that sleek nape. I like how she described that because you're not going to have a lot of bulk down at the back of your, uh, the, the nape of your neck. For me, I appreciate that because I run very warm and the less fabric I have at the base of my neck, the happier I am. Allow you to adjust the circumference of the wing cap up to half an inch. Here is Chase. Look at how lovely the graduated sides are. They are texturized and razor finished at the ends. Now she does look a little shiny and again, light bouncing off synthetic fiber. When you're out in the sun, you know, under normal conditions, it's not going to look that shiny. Even though I don't have her in my hand, I've seen enough wig, wigs now to, to know... Um, a lot of times you see that shine and it's not even an issue. And of course, if anything is an issue, just take good care when you open the, that wig and, and, and if you have to send it back, you'll be able to get your money back. It's a beautiful... Although I will say one thing, I'm not 100% sure. This wig was on clearance. You might want to check, disclaimer, disclaimer, um, you might want to check and make sure you can return it, but I do believe that I saw that it is returnable, but I'm not 100% sure. In any, in any case, I would keep it because I know I would use the wig for coloring for my channel, just to learn more about colors. Beautiful mid-length style Very that pretty. complements the neck and shoulders. Okay, so I will link the... Um, so I will link Wig Central's review below so that you can look at the whole thing. I think she does a really nice job reviewing wigs. She's been doing it for quite some time. I've been following her for a while. Let's go to the second review. At the price point on this wig, which was $79.99, she's a pretty nice piece, and I'm really excited to go through all her specs and show her to you. So... So seventy nine ninety nine, and now the, uh, we're looking at fifty nine. So twenty dollars, twenty dollars less, and it sounds like a good deal to me. But uh, again, I will link um, beautiful you wig reviews. I will I will link her below so you can watch the whole thing. I I just like to see it on different people's heads if I can. So let's just watch another minute or so. First thing I'm going to do is do a spin so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her measurements and everything. So here's her front. She is slightly angled as you'll see when I turn to the I like side. That. But she is low density. I, I really love the style. She's so natural looking. And swingy. She looks very, very swingy, right? When you move, she's going to move with you. A lot of their wigs have a lot of permatease and I can't find any permatease in this one. So... Like now that's very interesting to me <laughs> because um, Wig Central, the one that we just looked at before, said that there was permatease. Now sometimes it can feel like permatease, but really all it is is hair that's sewn in underneath the cap. So honestly, it doesn't look like it has a lot of permatease to me. And even if it did, it wouldn't bother me because I can tell just looking at it, it's not high and puffy and voluminous and do all that. Um, so. If you're worried about permatease, I wouldn't worry about that permatease. I wouldn't be concerned, I should say. None of us are worried about permit, but I wouldn't be concerned about permatease. Okay, so here is my right side. So you can see that just slight angle. And the other thing, if you notice on, uh, uh, reduce the um, volume, if you notice on her, um, it's not very shiny. Now that could be because it's a darker color and a lot of times we have problems, a lot of times we have problems with the light on these lighter wigs. Um, very hard to film silver gray white wigs. If you follow me, you know that by now. 
I think that's a really nice, for the price, I think that's a really, really nice wig. Okay, so as I said, I will link um, this gal's review below. I don't think I've seen her before. I don't know what her name is. Beautiful You Wig Reviews. Okay, so that's basically it for today. Chase by Paula Young with the monofilament with the monofilament top, you saw that in the cap, the the, uh, the parting space is going to be about mm, maybe an inch wide, which is wonderful because where that part is, you're going to be able to see right, th right straight through to your scalp. So I hope that helps you today. That's at least one more wig that we have found together. And again, I don't know whether how many they have in the color 5660A, but if you like it, head over there before they sell out. And it is a bob collar length with monofilament part and those razored ed and those razored edges. Now, before I close, I just want to say I have a new set you you see behind me. I have moved out of my guest bedroom. <laughs> and moved down to my office. It's it's only February. I did a review on Saturday and the room was getting 80 degrees and it's it's too cold outside to turn on my air conditioning. And so I thought, all right, I better just bite the bullet. I wanted to do this last year. So that's my new my new backdrop for now uh, until I figure something else out. And I hope you like it. I try to keep it very simple. I like to keep it very dark because I want you to see the hair. I like to wear dark colors because then you're seeing the hair, not necessarily my clothing. It's not about the clothing. It's about the hair, right? So what I have on right now is one of my favorite. Um, it's not a topper. It's a headband fall. It's by Tony Bratton. Uh, the price point is under $100, I can't remember, 65 75 80 I've reviewed it before, so just look back in my, in, my, um, in my reviews and you'll see it. Just type in Tony Bratton, and I'm sure it will, Tony Bratton Headband Straight Fall. Tony Bratton Headband Straight Fall, and I had to run out to a funeral this morning, very last minute. I mean, I literally got up, washed my face, put on a tiny teeny tiny bit of makeup so I didn't scare everybody and threw this on my head and, and went to the funeral so um, yes I'm even surprised I'm getting this out today so I hope you like the new background let me know what you think and um, if you like give it a like hit the little bell icon and subscribe and always remember to look for the silver linings everyone life is fragile handle with care Bye-bye.